Next, let's queer up courts. Tucker Carlson's gay executive producer accused of sexually assaulting another man at Fox News. Former Fox News host Tucker Carlson's longtime producer has been accused of sexually assaulting a gay man in 2008 while they were both working for Fox News. On Monday, former Fox News employee Andrew Delancey filed a lawsuit with the U.S. District Court for the Southern District of New York against Justin Wells, Fox Corporation, and Fox News alleging that Wells used his position at the conservative media company to sexually harass and later assault him. Wells helped launch Carlson's Fox News show, Tucker Carlson Tonight, in 2016 and remained the show's executive producer until both he and Carlson were fired in April. Wells continues to work with Carlson on the host show on X, and Delancey's lawsuit describes him as Carlson's right-hand man. The lawsuit also notes that Fox News has become notorious for its sexual harassment culture. Wells' attorney, Harmie Dillon, and Carlson are attempting to cast doubt on Delancey's allegations. Carlson has also issued a statement saying, quote, As a general matter, if you believe you've been a victim of a sex crime, you have a moral obligation to alert police, so it doesn't happen to someone else. If you wait 15 years to cash in with a civil suit, no one should take you seriously. I certainly don't, end quote. I mean, it's this is a very sad story, especially when it comes to sexual assault and rape allegations because it's not a joke no um, you know it's definitely a crime you know it's something that happens every day unfortunately yeah. and people don't say anything for the fear of embarrassment or losing their job or retaliation or just public humiliation yeah. you know so when you know i hear stories like this even, although it is fox news and i'm not surprised that something like this has happened there you know i'm just disappointed that that's just another story that's coming out about this that someone was taking advantage of look and i don't care if it's if it happened five minutes ago yeah. or it happened 50 years ago okay you're still allowed when you are ready to tell your story right to call authorities and do this civil case okay and i think that that he is very very uh strong courageous to do it because you know this i doubt that this gentleman didn't think all the things that you've just stated right they're gonna think this they're gonna think i'm a liar they're gonna think i'm putting it together it took probably everything that he was instilled with to come forward yeah. and he is right it's a very I, brave thing it to is do. a very brave thing to do and i don't see fox news as an easy place for anybody to work at okay e especially women and especially gay men mm -hmm. lgbtq plus people yeah. better yeah. said john so you've got an interesting take on this i do um well, Fox News, as you've mentioned, has had a culture problem for years and years, decades, perhaps. Um, you know, they've they've made movies about Roger Ailes and uh, mm -hmm. his problems with and and his role in the Me Too movement. Um, Andrew Delancey, the person making the accusations against Justin Wells and Tucker, uh, is a friend of mine. He, uh, we worked together back uh, in the early 2000s at a station in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Wow. Uh, we have remained close friends ever since. I remember when he, uh, he has worked quite a bit in South Florida. He's not here anymore, but I remember his time at Fox News. Um, and this doesn't surprise me at all. Um, I talked to him when I heard about this. Um, and he told me that the, um, the reason he's filing now, and this gets to the 15 year point, New York recently, um, basically reopened statute of limitations um, for certain crimes. And the deadline was like last week or the week before. And Andrew has been thinking about this for a long time. Okay. This isn't something he just decided on. He basically had to live with it and think about it every day for 15 years. You know, just because you're silent doesn't mean you're not being tortured inside. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, and he, Andy has not talked with me about this suit whatsoever, but I know that he is a solid journalist. He doesn't make this up. I do know that he has, that the uh, New York um, extension on statute of limitations did uh, play a role in this because shockingly we have mutual friends that tell, that tell us different things. Um, I used to date a uh, person uh, who became a senior executive level producer at the channel. And uh, he went to work with um, Shepard Smith, which was like the moderate show, the, the show that tells you as it is. And um, he told me after Shep left that it just, that there was just nothing to hold back mm -hmm. the crushing hell that it is to work there. My God.
I can only imagine. Again, Mr. Delancey, I don't know you personally, um, but I consider you very brave and, uh, you know, for standing up. And, and, and I doubt that you're the only one. You're probably standing up for many. So just know that. Yeah, um, I, I, I think that he's very brave and that it takes a lot of guts to stand up for yourself when you've, you know, been going through that. It does, it does mess you up internally, you know? Mm -hmm. Keep watching the only television news in the world from our LGBTQ plus community and stay informed on everything that is important for and about our diverse LGBTQ plus community.